Rhino AI MCP? Well, that guy has now a cousin who lives in Grasshopper. Yes, Grasshopper also has an AI assistant now called Raven. I ask it to build free things and I have to say, pew. And I didn't, I didn't expect the first one to work. I didn't expect the second one to make any sense. But the third one, I'm still not sure what it actually tried to do. But let me show you. All right, this is Raven when it's installed. And Raven has its own button because Raven thinks it's special. And it kind of is. Well, I prefer the old way. You can find Raven like this as well. Let's try something super simple. What about a sun hour study? Something every computational designer will come across at some point. Please cre create a sun hour study for the current model. I want to test the sun hours on the square in the center. Just so you look how it looks like. Just a very simple model. All right, let's go. It's thinking. Of course, I will start by finding the, the right components to create the sun hour study. Nice. Yes, I will do the same. Excellent. I have found the necessary components. I will now add them to the canvas and configure the sun hour study. I'm creating a test surface. For the analysis, please connect any geometry you want to use as context in the component name context. Let me know if you need anything else. That is pretty awesome. Now let's let's have a look. It's a bit of a mess, to be to be honest. It generated this thing that we might change. I'm not sure about why it needs a geometry preview. Usually it doesn't need that. Legend, okay. Let's pull this a bit apart because it's really messy. Maybe we need to tell it to spread out the components a bit more. I mean that's that's nice that tried to do this. Let's just kill it because it's not really what we wanted to do. Okay, grid size one meter. That's all good. He had created like a generic or like a, yeah, created a proper location with time zone and location. Pretty good. Here it didn't put anything. So I assume this will be a whole year. Let's check. Yes, it's going to be a whole year. 8,760 hours. All right, so. Now, geometry, that we killed that before, so we need to get it back. This is the geometry we want to test, and then this is the context. Probably don't need to select all of this, but why not? Let's run it. Curious. Really without any issue, I have to say. I'll just turn off the preview here so it doesn't disturb our view. I will also turn off the sun path. And here we are, we have annual sun study. Pretty decent, it's everything there, including some simple legend. I have to say, it, it's clean, it runs, it's correct. But here's the thing, if you didn't write this, would you still know where to look when something feels wrong? Honest question. Okay, let's try something more playful. Let's kill this and we can hide all this. Maybe the button is not so bad after all. Okay, create parametric hedgehog tower using only native grass grasshopper components. Start with a circular base and extrude it into a tower with a height slider. Subdivide the tower vertically into levels controlled by a second slider. At each level generate outward facing, facing spikes by sampling points on the facade. Use surface normals to orient the spikes. Each spike should be a cylinder with randomized length. Thickness controlled by a slider called chaos. Make sure the 
spikes always point away from the tower. Group each logic block clearly. Keep the definition clean and compact and readable. All right. Hmm. Okay, it's doing its thing. It's still thinking, fixing stuff, adding more things. Let's see, that looks quite promising. It's quite interesting. So it finds the problem, it sees the problem and it changes the script because it found the problem. I mean, it's pretty much like a person trying new things. The script, I will add a chaos slider to control the randomization. Nice, okay. okay. The hedgehog tower is complete. The script is organized into logical groups for clarity. And a custom preview has been added for visualization. Please let me know if I like if you would like any adjustment or have other tasks. Let's see. Let's let's have a look. I mean, it's not very organized, I would say. Let's have a closer look here. What can we It's just a color, okay? Number of levels. I mean, great. Uh, it's added the chaos slider, spike generation, point and normal generation, okay, tower generation, interesting. I'm wondering if we can turn things off. Mm -hmm. Oops, I think we can turn all of this off because it generates its own material. Okay, let's let's have a look. Okay, it can shrink. Radius, not bad. Did we ask for radius? But yeah, it's great. Tower, spikes per level. I mean, it's actually more stuff than what we discussed. It's just It's just a bit messy, that's all. Okay, spikes per level, numbers of levels, yes. And, and they're all random. It's random, chaos, chaos. This is the length, I mean. So, yeah, this is fast, it's confident, and I'm impressed. It's not, it's probably not exactly what I would have made, although I have to say, it doesn't care pretty crazy the only thing is what's not working and i can see it now is that the randomness is it's random but every floor is the same except for the last one very strange so this not completely perfect but you know i wouldn't have i wouldn't be able to do this in like what less than a minute now the question is who made it who made that is it me or is it ai who is the author of this script I think that's the fundamental question here. I mean, is it would would it be the same if I just copy a script from somebody? Okay, last one. This will be the ultimate test. Promise. All right, let's see. Create a recursive subdiv subdiv subdivision system for a surface using only native grasshopper components start with a base surface ideally a topography subdivide it into four smaller surfaces for each resulting surface check if its area is below 2.5 meter meter square if yes subdivide it again repeat the process for multiple generations controlled by a depth slider okay include a real-time visualization of each sub division step do not use plugins like anemone which i don't have anyway or hoop snake only core grasshopper tools keep the definition compact clean and grouped by function mm. let's see I expect this will think a bit longer. Of course, 
Of course, I will create a recursive surface subdivision system using only native Grasshopper components. Since loops are not available, I will simulate the recursion by cha chaining a series of subdivision modules. But that's not what I'm asking for. Okay, let's see. Excellent, the components are available. I will now into a second iteration. It's not exactly what we asked for because I want to have a slider. Huh. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Oh no, okay, it's not finished yet. Which random seed? I don't need a random seed. Random subdivision logic. Hmm. Still thinking. It's figuring it out. It appears to, it appears my last attempt to modify the cluster failed to the data mismatch in the stream filter. Component. I cannot handle a list of gates to filter multiple streams simultaneously. My apologies, I will use a more robust method using data trees. Okay, I'm not sure if it's finished or not. I think it's just hanged itself, or maybe it's done. Or maybe I ran out of tokens. Okay, there's a bit of a chaos to be honest. Hoo, hoo, hoo. Oh, there's a big. Okay, I see. Return to parent. Okay, so this is. There's quite, a, quite some logic in there. But it didn't really work out and I think it stopped. It stopped and then now I have to buy tokens, which I will not. I will not. Of course that was a bit unfair because you see Grasshopper doesn't have any doesn't have a way to generate recursions natively. You would need a plugin or you need to code your you need to code inside Python or C sharp. And that's the only reason why it didn't work. But imagine Raven starts to use Python scripting in here. What then? So Raven one day will know where it needs to use this. Well, I thought today I would get some answers, but it really just opened many more questions and doors. And I don't know really what's coming next. Only thing I know, I AI gave me a sty <laughs> today. I hope you have a good night's sleep. See you in the next video. Ciao.